Are you looking to buy a new CMM or are you looking to upgrade an existing one and can't decide between a manual or a CNC? Well, I'm here at Cum Engineering in South Wales to find out why they went CNC. So Malcolm, we're sat in front of your brand new CMM from Itatoyo. But before you got this machine, let's go back a bit. What were you using to measure your parts before? So gen general hand tools up, up to a certain point. Then we, we did invest in workshop uh, CMMs. Um, but we, we just felt we had to go to a different level uh, of inspection to show our customers with an inspection facility. Um, and this was our first choice. So Mitutoyo, why did you choose them over others on the market? Um, Mitutoyo, I think the brand speaks for itself. Uh, very, very well known, good quality, uh, good backup, good service. Uh, it, it just makes a good package. And what I like is you actually built a purpose room for this machine. Yes, yes. Again, as I said, we, we felt we had to show customers we had an inspection facility rather than just a CMM machine plonked in, in the middle of the, the workshop, so, so to speak. Uh, it just shows a level of cleanliness and, uh, and, the, and the kind of accuracy we, we're trying to get to. And I think we need to point out that this room is temperature controlled as well. It, it is indeed, yes, yes. Temperature controlled, air conditioned, yes, yes. So what were the guys on the shop floor <coughs> feeling when you, bought another, when you got this CMM in and obviously it was another machine for them to learn? It, has it helped them in their jobs as well? It, it has, in, in, in fact, because obviously, you know, obviously we do, we do a first off check now on, on all the parts. So that responsibility gets taken off them. So it's done independently. It's that extra set of eyes to look at a part and make sure nothing's wrong. Uh, and yes, it just, just, just shows our, our sort of level of inspection. And we spoke before this interview, and you actually use a Lang Quick Point on this and on your machines as well. Yes, yes. So we have this facility to, um, on, on the five axis machines especially, we use Lang's single point systems. So we can literally take the part off the machine, put it on, on the Lang plate on the, on the bed, inspect it. If it's not quite correct, we can put it back on the machine and, and, and rework it to get, to get the correct size. So has that helped you with, obviously, parts going out wrong or obviously having to do extra ops at the end when you've come to measure it? Yes, I suppose it, traditionally you would maybe have sacrificed the first part to make sure it was right, uh, whereas now we can, we can take that part off the machine, check it on the bed and put it back on the machine and rework to, to get the correct size. So I like what you said there, and we've all done it. I, I used to do it where yeah. you will sacrifice the first, uh, the first block, yes. first part to get it right, which obviously that must be saving you money now and saving you money in ordering as well. It does, and especially works well where you, your free shoot material, normally you wouldn't get any spare, spare parts with the, free, with the free shoot from a customer. So we can check the part, make sure it's correct, put it back on the machine, get it, get it where we need it to be without sacrificing that part. Which, and again, the other thing as well, if for some reason you, there was an issue with that first part where we had to, would have to rework it, it would mean reordering, resetting up all the machines, so it saves all that. It just, it just gets it all done in one, in one go then. And it's nice just to save you time and money. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, yes, yes. obviously, you've gone straight in on a CMM, uh, on a CNC CMM. <laughs> Too many letters. Um, what was it like for your um, machinist to learn this? Well, we've actually taken a full-time inspector on, so the machinists themselves don't use the machines themselves anyway. So we've, we've taken on an experienced uh, uh, inspection guy who's got 30, 30 odd years experience in quality. So the transition was quite, quite good, other than the fact that the, the software he was used to, um, the, this level of software was, was a little bit higher. So he just needed some, some, some training on the, on the next level of software really to, to get him up to spec. And what was Mitsutoro's training like? Because you seem to have Mitsutoro certificates everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, very good actually. They, they, they often do it on site with us, but it's, um, it's more, let's say it's more economical to do it on, at their site. So we've got a choice of Andover or Coventry. Um, training's been very good. We've, uh, so we had training for two, for two guys if needed. So we've just used the one lot of training up at the moment for, for Leighton, who's, who's the inspector. Um, and he, all he has left now is the, is the um, solid model inspection. So you, so you, you can measure, you can basically create the program offline then. So which will save us, again, save us time. And, th and that then will get done ahead of the machining, so that the CNC, that, sorry, the CMM program is created before the cut is par uh, part is cut. Um, so the part is cut, pulls off first inspection, runs the, runs the program, checks it, everything's fine, it carries on. And I've just got to ask, how nervous were you when you set that first program running? And obviously uh, the little <laughs> tiny ball on the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, are, they obviously are quite fragile, they're quite small. Um, yeah, fine, I'd, I'd faith in the guys, faith in the machine. 
Um, and I didn't press the button anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> so, last question. What would you say to somebody who's looking at a CMM where obviously most people start with a manual CMM first? What would you say to someone who's, who's thinking of jumping straight into a CNC version? Do it. If you've got the affordability, do it, yes. It, it's, it saves you a tremendous amount of time um, and takes the feel out of everything. So if you can take the human feel out of it, that can make a huge difference. It can make it much more reliable.